Are we just going to do a vigil? Because words are cheap right now. This vigil was organized to honor Tina Fontaine, but it quickly became a call for change. I'm here because I want to incite you. I want to incite you to action. I want you to be loud. Hundreds of Montrealers listened as speaker after speaker spoke of Fontaine's death and how they felt betrayed by Canada's institutions. On est encore loin de se réconcilier quand on sait que le système judiciaire ne s'applique même pas pour nous. Everything failed her, and her story is not unique. There are Tinas everywhere, and we have to do better. As the speeches continued, a common theme emerged. Non-Indigenous allies need to speak out. It's up to the people to put pressure on, on their, their representatives in, in this government and to say that, you know, enough is enough. Community organizer Vincent Mousseau is here to show solidarity. As an activist for black and queer causes, he hopes to help by educating others in his circle. I think it's my role as an ally to bring Indigenous issues into, uh, into those spaces and kind of when talking about like black issues to make sure that we're not forgetting the struggles of Indigenous folks. Dexter Zuro Kulasura helped organize this vigil. He says his conscience compelled him to pitch in. So as a ch child of immigrants, as a proud Montrealer, as a, a proud Quebecois and a proud Canadian, I demand of my governments that they take action. And as a citizen and as an activist, I demand of my fellow citizens and the fellow residents that we honor our obligations to our Indigenous brothers and sisters by standing up for them. While the catalyst for this vigil was born of anger and frustration, the good turnout helped end the day with a glimmer of optimism. That the tragic life of Tina Fontaine is no longer just an Indigenous issue. Thank you. Tom Fenario, APTN National News, Montreal.